It's great to be with all of you here this morning. And we have people here today from all around the world. We have from China, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, Germany, France, the UK, the US, Canada, and many more countries. Thank you very much for joining us today. Because today really is a celebration of entrepreneurship and innovation. And that spirit, we're going to be hearing a little bit later from about a dozen of Israel's best young ag tech companies. And we're going to have a chance to uh, evaluate them and to share our thoughts about those companies. But today really is an opportunity for all of us, academics, entrepreneurs, innovators, small companies, large companies, large companies that are becoming bigger companies, for all of us to get together and to learn, to meet, to share ideas about to help actually improve the world, to truly create a better world through the work of the young companies you're going to hear from today and all of us who are here today. I have the privilege today of introducing to you last year's winner of our best company. And it's so appropriate today that that company is about making things sweeter. Our new year begins on Sunday night. And of course, one of the symbols of the new year is, is honey, as we wish everyone a, a sweet and wonderful new year. Iran Baniel is going to join us. Iran is the CEO and co-founder of Dumatok, all about sweetness. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of today's conference. Good morning, everyone. On the 27th of April uh, 15 at AgriVest, this was our first slide. Sugars with enhanced sweetness. That's how we started. Now we've, in the 17 months, been able to widen up the platform and actually be able to deliver flavors, adding salt to the sugars, improving our sugar delivery, and going into vanilla and other flavors. What we do is we allow for products to be as sweet or salty in taste, exact same taste, but with less sugars or salt, and that's proven. Same sensory uh, effect, and that's proven. At cost parity or lower, and projections are showing that that's an easy gain. No aftertaste, because in the food and beverage, we always say taste is king. We've enlarged our IP, and we are IP protected, and we have 32 patent applications on the way to being approved. And finally, we've managed to be FDA and EU compliant in terms of regulation. So for those that didn't meet us last year, just a few words about the technology. What we do is we take mineral particles with large surface activity and we load them with sugar molecules or salt molecules and with these clusters of sweetness or saltiness at the respective uh, 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 receptors, they download, thank you, they download the sugars or the salts by the receptors, tricking the receptors to report something which is much sweeter or saltier than the amount of sugar or salt that we put in the uh, recipe. I'd like to devote the next slide and some of the rest of my uh, time to the guys who are going to win today uh, the AgriVest contest. The effect on us was huge. On the 27th of April of last year, there were barely two companies interested in what we do. A month after winning the prize, there were more than 50 companies asking for samples we couldn't possibly provide. We had to make sure that the gift 
of winning the prize at Agrivest doesn't turn out to be a poison gift. So we came here looking for investment. But investors told us early on, we need to see early adopters for the technology. But for early adopters, you need samples. For samples, you need a pilot. And for pilot, you need investment. So we went into an interesting cycle. What we also had to face is the fact that we don't make one kind of sugars. We discovered that by playing with the surface of the carrier, we can change the quality or, or the behavior of our sugars. So we have sugars that go better with baking, sugars that go better with uh, beverages, etc., etc. And suddenly we took the sugars, and that's on the positive side, from the commodity market into being an ingredient, and even speciality ingredient at times. So anyway, we set up a quick 1.5 convertible bridge loan, and we went to work. It took a better part of a year to start getting the right results. We started by saying, sending the wrong samples to guys who made baking, but with sugars that weren't made for baking, etc. So it's only in the last few months that we are seeing the kind of results we were hoping for. And we've been confirmed, and there are guys here from the companies uh, that I talk about, in sweet yogurts, in morning cereals, in confectionery, biscuits, cakes, flavored water, and yesterday at the kitchen we premiered our potato chips. So when we just began to feel comfortable and, and sort of more sane and under less pressure, FDA decided to change labeling uh, regulations. And by God, from 50 or 70 companies looking for samples, we are well over 100. And just when they were done with the sugar labeling story, two, three weeks later, they came up with a salt labeling and salt reduction story. So to summarize, the AgriVest for us was a fantastic opportunity to develop the platform of flavor deliveries we, we can manage. We are now in five joint development agreements with companies in the sugars and with companies that use sugars for applications, world leaders, some of them are there. We've received a pre-order, now it's 10,000 since that was, 10,000 tons to have cakes in supermarkets in the United States using Dumatok, and we don't have a clue how we can meet that demand. We have received uh, grants from the chief scientist of Israel from Horizon 2020, phase one, and we are working on phase two now. And it took almost 17 months to get our first term sheet for a five to nine million dollars uh, consortium round that we hope to close soon. A few days ago, a great American playwright, Edward Olby, died. In his first play, Jerry sits next to Peter on a bench in Central Park and tells him, sometimes it's necessary to go a long distance out of the way to come back a short distance correctly. We'd like to thank Nitsa, Trendlines, AgriVest, for taking us on a very exciting journey out of the way and allowing us and assisting us 
to come back the short way correctly. Thank you, Shana Tova.